Ladies! Ladies. I'm getting kind of tired of always hearing about how women say they're settling for us men. It doesn't really make sense to me. Because if every man is settling, that must mean that all women are above all men, right? If you going for average guy is settling, why? And I'm about to say something that might be a little bit over the top. This may be a little bit of contradictory of what I've said sometimes. I think even the most attractive women, they still get settled for. Because think about this, man. <laughs> the most attractive women on this planet. We'll just stick with America. The most attractive women in America. Think about this. Hold on, guys. If you can get a woman who looks like one of these girls, right? And I, I don't know what these girls look like without makeup. I don't know what the filter is. But excuse me. Let's say they look this good. Hold on, I gotta turn this down in my ears. But let's say the women look this good, okay? Let's say the women look this good. Let's say the women look this good. Think about this, man. If a man can get a woman who looks like this, do you think he can get more women who look like this? Think about this. If a man has wealth or he's really good looking or he's really attractive, do you think if he gets a girl who looks like the girl you're seeing up up here, if he can get a girl who looks like that, do you think he can get more girls who look like that? Well, yeah. So guess what that means? If a man was to settle, like a, settle for a girl who looks like this, guess what he's doing? He would have to be settling. Trigger. How can that be? How can you settle for a girl who looks that good? Because just because they look good, doesn't mean they won't be settled for. Listen, to be honest, uh, we all get settled for it some way or somehow. Because listen, I know. I mean. I understand that all of us are super attractive okay i understand that man i mean and i i really think that sometimes we do <laughs> push ourselves down because we don't look like the rock or something but you're really blessed to look the way you do you're really blessed to have the things you have in this life and you don't need to take that stuff for granted okay but beauty is really in the eye of the beholder and also man i don't really care what the this is what i've all this has been my philosophy since i was probably 23 if you got if you have never let a girl tell me she was out of my league now this is not to say that i could get any girl i'm fat i was fat then i'm fat now lost some weight y'all saw me working out earlier y'all like that but nonetheless i never let any girl treat me any lower than me okay i did now here's the thing that makes me different from what other women do I knew I was fat, so I wasn't like, oh, I'm not going to go for a fat girl. I wasn't like that. I knew I was out of shape, so I knew I I knew I had to my, I had to open up my options. I couldn't go for the prettiest girl in the room. I knew my chances were low. I went for every girl, but I still went to every... I treated every girl the same, though. I treated a fat girl like I treated a girl who was super pretty. I treated them all the same, baby. Because if I like you, I like you. And if I like you, and if I want you, I'm going to get you. That's how it goes so but this is the problem i have is that women they don't do that see me as a man being a fat man i know that you know where i am so if i got a big girl if i got a small girl i treated them all as if they were pretty now i now i, don't, I didn't simp now i didn't say let's go simping once i got out of my simp stage i treated every girl the same but i didn't let no girl treat me low you know what i'm saying i never let any girl tell me that uh i gotta do stuff for her because she looks better than me i never let any girl treat me lower than i felt about myself if you don't want to respect me hey Boy, get the walking. But women don't do this. Not all women. Let's not be dumb, okay? Y'all know what I mean. But women, they don't. They feel like they're settling. And that's why sometimes you get women who treat guys so terrible. And that's why you get women who get on the internet and say just the most bogus stuff. We see men doing this now too. But these women get on here and say the most bogus stuff. They'll call a, a dude fat. They'll call a dude dusty. They'll call him a small dick energy. Uh, they'll talk about anything and everything about a dude. They'll say hey, he was broke. Man, go listen to story times. If y'all don't listen to story times, please go listen to story times by women. In particular, big women. Go listen to story times from big women and... Uh, <laughs> 
this is just me man i'll tell y'all there's some good women's story times out there but but the, the story times you're gonna find the most of are black women it's just mainly black women and big girls that's what i see so go find your go find some story times about some black women and big girls they tell the best story times and i mean that sincerely but i want you to listen what how they talk about dudes in their stories it is mo most of the time these women out here they talk about their single but go and listen how they talk about men that they, they they didn't like and then go listen to a story time from a guy who talks about the same thing you know it's gonna be a big world of difference okay women are gonna talk about men and how they didn't get with them because he was dusty his house was gross he was sick he wanted to do these things with her the women the women always make themselves feel like they were the prize in the story like the guy wanted them that bad that they were willing to do anything for her is just because she looked good and all this stuff she's gonna prop herself up and it's not true like that like in real life it doesn't happen like that dude are there some pretty girls out there yes but not every dude if they if every dude they went for were only thirsty for them and they were busted and they were musty then why did those girls go for them what is this telling is it telling the story more about the men or the girl if every girl has a story time about going from somebody who was musty and dusty just for her to jump on a man and talk about how stupid he was and how how men ain't ish you went for him doofus how come you have 18 stories about 18 dusty men that you went for dumbo come on you know what we gotta get the same thing we've got to get out of this mentality women you're not that special man i sound like a red pill fool but i'm being serious and i mean that i was i mean that in the most sincere way women you're not special i say the same thing to men when i say men you're not that special because you have sex with this many women i tell women that all the time some men will tell you that men are better because they have sex with a bunch of women but i tell men the same thing like hey just because you have sex with a bunch of women dude doesn't make you special i promise you because there's men out here are married who have sex almost every night with the same woman dude you you having sex with all these women it's just not impressive it's just really not because we know what it feels like every single day it's not that great it's just it's just not that dude it's way better to do it with somebody who you love and cherish but back to the women women you're not impressed because you look good now you can go out there and do other things that some people can't you can go out there and maybe be a model and even today here's the thing because of the internet the women there's so many dang women now that are that we see now that are so pretty it's not even as special as it once was you know what i mean like if a girl came up to me and told me she's a model i'd be like okay so like that's not even special to hear anymore because back in the day it felt like when a woman said she was a model it meant she was in vogue you know it meant like she was a big dog it's like she works for an actual company that does stuff but now when you hear a woman talk about being a model that could be oh i'm a model on OnlyFans. oh i'm a model on instagram oh okay an instagram model Man, it's like there's too many of y'all, and I don't. <laughs> it's too. There's so many of y'all now. So I'm just, I'm just at, I'm just at a loss now. What happened to the good old days when when a woman got with a man? It was just normal. It was just an everyday thing. Now when a woman gets with a man, it's oh I settled for him. Did you? Did you just say that uh, you settled for a man? That's crazy that's crazy you know what i'm gonna say this man i've been saying this a lot first of all men you need to shoot for marriage but second i have I, I, i'm married and i have a wife and my wife has never told me she settled for me my wife honestly feels like i settled for her and look at me i'm fat <laughs> i'm fat and short and you know why that is you know why that is because she's smart i don't think i don't make my women my woman my woman my wife doesn't bend a knee to me i take care of the house like she takes care of the house i work every day i work as often as i can as much as i can even when i was coming off my addiction and i was coming off of drugs and i felt completely insane my anxiety i was having panic attacks i knew i had to take care of the house so i would go to work feeling completely insane i could barely work i, I was struggling mentally my mental health was going down 
but I knew I had to go to work. So I took care of myself the best way I could. And I got my breaks. My wife took care of the house. When I came home, I didn't have to clean. I didn't have to do anything. I was taking care because she wasn't working at the time. And I was taking care of everything as far as monetary. But she took care of the house. That's why my wife didn't feel like she settled for me because she knows I would do anything for the family. I do anything for my son. You know, I, it is what it is. But I think women are thinking that this is not what men do. Like, they think if they get a man who doesn't look as good as them, that's settling. It's like, what kind of men are you going for? Are you trying to go for a man who's the best looking on earth? Or are you going for a man who's a stand-up guy? Because there's no way you can marry a man who takes care of his family and takes care of everything he can, possibly. Doesn't mean he's rich or any of that, but he does what he can to take care of his family. He would give it all for his family and God. And you're just going to be like, I, you settle for that? How the heck do you settle for that? How do you settle for somebody who's willing to give it all up for his family? He's willing to, if, if somebody was to break into the house, he would be the one to die. How the F are you settling for that? How are you settling for somebody who was willing to die for you? That's what I don't understand. How are you settling for somebody who's willing to die for you? That's not settling. You think, you think settling means because he doesn't look that great or because he doesn't have the biggest private part or he can't have sex for 18 hours. Y'all think that's settling. That's not settling. That's being a little child. That, that's just crazy. It's the same thing when I, when, when, if I as a man did that same thing. It's, it's when I hear this from men, I think it's a stupid thing too. Some man who's like, my girl's got to be in the kitchen. She can't work. She can't go to clubs. She can't do any of that. Okay. Slow down. Okay. Men, you're not settling for a woman neither. You're not settling for a woman either. Okay. I didn't settle for my wife. Okay, she does things that make her worth it. You know what I mean? She she would do. She's she's had my back. She's done a lot of things for me. Have we had our, our, our had our quarrels? Have we had our problems? Every marriage does. Okay, but at the same time, like we tried our best to make it work, and it's effing hard. It really is. But at no point do I feel like I'm settling. Of course, I could go get another woman, but she could go get another man. But we're not settling for each other because we're willing to have each other's back in the hardest damn times. When we, you know, when we lost our son. When we, when we went through that tragedy, who else did, who else could we turn to? You know, we turn to ourselves. When life hits you hard, we turn to ourselves. When we were living back in my old town and we were living around criminals and thugs, we only had each other. We only had each other's back. When the police were showing up to our house, who do we have? Ourselves. That's love, bro. It's not all this feelings. It's not, it's not every day that we get along and everything like that. But that's not settling. That's love. So women, how the heck are you settling? You can't be settling for a guy who's willing to give it all up for you. That's not settling. I'm not saying you got to go for a simp. Oh, sorry, this music is really quiet. I'm not saying you got to go for a simp. And men, I'm not telling you to simp. That's not the same thing. A, a simp is somebody who would be giving you everything and you're giving nothing back. That's, that's a completely different story. That's me going to Twitch streams and giving a girl who did, who sat in a hot tub with her butt cheeks out, and I give her money, and all she tells me is "thank you, babe." That's simping. That's completely different. Giving it all for your woman and her giving it all to you—that's not simping, people. That's called a relationships. What the f happened to those? What happened to relationships? Damn, I mean, I mean, ugh. dang, people really think relationships are the worst thing on earth to have. That's so sad to see because people are so afraid of getting played. Some people, some people are so afraid that something's going to happen. And you know what? Guess what? I'm, I'm here to break it to you. It absolutely can. You can get in a relationship and they fuck you over. I'm sorry. They screw you. I'm trying to work on my language. You can get in a relationship and they can screw you over. Absolutely. You can get in a relationship and they can cheat. You can get a relationship and th it doesn't go your way. That happens. That doesn't mean you shouldn't go for it. Damn, everybody's not scared to put their face on camera anymore. Anybody would get on TikTok in the middle of public and dance and shake their butt cheeks. Or some dude will go jump into a, a donut shop and steal stuff and do all this stuff. Everybody has all the confidence to hop in front of a camera and talk. Why can't you have confidence to get in a relationship? You know it could all go south. It, it, it could all go south. You can get married and get divorced. But people are just like, because of that fact that people don't even want to try. Because they know it's going to be hard. And, and the, the, the worst thing is that's really also happening is it's all these people who get on the internet who are in relationships and they brag about their boyfriend and girlfriend like they're married that is insane to me just because you got a boyfriend is not the same thing as being married i'm sorry honey but it's not dude if you got a girlfriend i'm sorry to tell you just because you call her wifey it doesn't mean she's wifey it ain't the same brother it's not it ain't it ain't never gonna be the same because if it was the same if it was the same 
People wouldn't have fought for marriage for so long. There's certain people who want to be married. I'm black. We couldn't get married back in the day. Why would we fight for marriage if it, if it just meant nothing? It means something for somebody to carry your last name. It's not the same thing as being in a relationship. Trust me. Go talk to people who are married and who are not married. Okay? It's different. Okay? And this is why I'm going to say something kind of bad here. I know a lot of people don't agree with this, but this is my philosophy. I could be wrong. I doubt it, though. <laughs> I, don't, I think that people who aren't married or have never been married. Now, must, if you've been divorced, you, I think you can still do this. But if you haven't been married or if you've never been married or you're not married, you can't give relationship advice. What? How can you? Listen, you can't. You don't know if you've never been married or are married currently. How can you give relationship advice if you don't know how to help? Dang it, Trey. If you don't know how to heck to win the race, how can you give relationship advice? You don't know how to, if you don't know how to win the race. You can teach me how to get to the playoffs, but I need to learn how to win a ring. That ain't what I want to do. So stop listening to all these people who say they're settling. They're not. You're not. You're not. So man, if the, if the girl ever tells you that she settled for you, leave. Unless you're married, then you should have seen that stuff coming before you got there. But uh, I mean, if they do it, they do it. You know, you, you got to go through it. But but man, if you're ever dating somebody and they say settle for you, if you even hear them even make that inkling and like they even joke about it, you might have to d just put your red flags up because people who say they settle, even if they're joking, man, there's always some truth in a joke. <laughs> So just be careful, man. Don't ever feel like somebody settled for you, man. If you're willing to give your life for your wife, don't talk. Don't don't tell me that they settle for you. I don't care if you were fat when you got together. I don't care. But if you were broke when y'all got together, I don't give a f. That doesn't mean she settled for you. Okay, being broke doesn't make you less of a man. It just means you got to get some stuff together, and you do. You need to be able to take care of your family. But just because the girl got with you when you were working at McDonald's doesn't mean she settled. You know what I mean? If you're still willing to give, if you're still willing to go to McDonald's every day and work 40 hours a week and flip burgers all day just to make sure that the the lights stay on and the bills are paid and you're working at McDonald's, I still don't see that as settling. I'm sorry. I know some men do disagree, but congratulations. Welcome to the world we live in over here in America. Not every effing body's going to own their own business and be a CEO. I'm sorry. It ain't going to happen. There's going to be some dudes who work at McDonald's. There's going to be some dudes who work at Walmart. There's going to be some dudes who work at Little Caesars down, the, down on South Street. Okay, it's just how it is. It's okay though. It doesn't make you less of a man. If that's what you, if that's what you are. You made some mistakes in life, and now you got to work at Little Caesars. But you work your you work your forty hours, and you pay your bills, and you pay your car bill, you pay your insurance, and you do what you can to do to keep the family afloat. And you're working your way up to get more money, maybe become a manager, or maybe go back to school, or do anything. That doesn't make you less of a man. It doesn't. I'm sorry. And I and here's here's my thing. I don't care if you're just a plumber. Oh, not a plumber. Plumber. Uh, I'm trying to think of somebody who makes about $50,000 a year. I don't know who that is, but if you only make a $50,000 a year and you only make $50,000 a year for the rest of your life, that doesn't make you less of a man. If you're doing the, the, the thing that drives me crazy is, is it doesn't make you a failure. If you get a job and you're, and you just work that job and you're good at that job, but you're still a good person to the community. Like you're going, you're attending, you're doing all the donations you can. You try to get a charity. You show up when people need help. You show up when people need tragedies. You try to be there for your city. That doesn't make you less of a man just because you're not making six figures. Six figures doesn't make you because most people aren't ever going to make six figures. So why would it make you less of a person if you don't make six figures? There's nothing wrong with being average because average people are what make the world run. I'm sorry to tell you that, but average people do help the world run. OK, it, they do. OK, average people are going to be the ones who are working on the roofs, working on the houses. They're going to be the one doing the plumbing. They're going to be the one who's working on electricity. They're your electricians. The ones that they're, they're going to be your cashiers. They're going to be the ones who make your food. They're going to be the ones, you know, plowing the fields getting your vegetables and all that stuff to make the, the grocery stores the stock those are going to be average people i'm sorry to tell you just because somebody owns walmart doesn't mean that they're better than the people who are working inside the walmart we all got to work together to make it all run okay so quit saying that you're settling for people because you're not because we all got to work hard in this world not every i've never met that many women who make six figures a year and don't need nobody i'm sorry to tell you that but that's just not true so there's no dang there's no dang way she's settling for every man she comes across i don't care how pretty they are I met very attractive women. In fact, I met a girl in my city now, the most attractive girl by far in this city. Dude, she's just she's just a pregnant single mom right now. Pregnant single mother. That's all she is. Very attractive. She was very attractive. Now she's pregnant. And now she just looks like a regular Joe. <laughs> she just looks like a regular Joe, dude. Like she's just she's living like the rest of us. 
That's what I'm trying to say. Am I gonna? What well, I mean, <laughs> being pretty doesn't make you that special. It gives you some more privileges, but it doesn't make you to the point where you gotta settle. <sighs> Come on, dude. Anyway, that's all I wanted to say about settling. Please don't ever let anybody make you feel less than, cause you're not. You're important, my dude. We all are. We need to work together in this life, not settle for each other or make each other feel worse because we don't look as good as them or blah, 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 blah. <laughs> and I'm gonna say this before I go. I don't really know how good these women really look because I've been around a ton of women. I told you guys I've worked with hundreds of women. At one point I was working at a company where I saw 300 women a day. I do not see women who look like these girls right here in these TikToks. They are not in bunches, okay? They're just not. And some people are just more attractive, but I'm I'm here to say that I think the makeup makes a lot of these girls look like this. I just don't see this many girls who look like this. And it, I've worked with so many, you'd think I'd seen thousands of these kind of girls, but I, I, they just don't look like this. They only look like this with makeup. But guess what? If you work with women, there's going to come a day where they don't wear makeup. And you're going to be like, oh, okay, that makes more sense. Okay, wow. <laughs> so I don't know if these women really look this good. I just think that it's the makeup. That's just me being honest. I just being honest. Makeup makes a world of difference i think most people look average and the really really attractive girls that i mean that are attractive without makeup those are the women you see in vogue not on instagram vogue okay those are the real models those are the ones who were be they were beautiful from birth i mean this when they came out the womb they were like oh this chick right here you know what i'm saying anyway so just stop stop believing the hype all these women all these women on the internet it, it, it's, it's really not like that dog Trust me, a lot of these women are wearing makeup. They do not look like this in real life. They don't. A lot of makeup, a lot of filters, okay? I don't care where you go. And you know those dudes who go to Miami? Even when you watch those uh, podcasts where you see a bunch of women from Miami, when I look at all those women from Miami, it's like, I mean, they look okay. I mean, they look all right, but they don't look like the Instagram photos. They don't look like they do on the Instagram photo. The Instagram photos make them look like a hundred times better than they do. But when I see them in a the podcast, I'm like, okay, you mean you look, you may look better than the average girl, but I mean, it's not like that. You know what I'm saying? It ain't like, whoa. You know what I mean, at the end of the day, it's like, you know what I mean? You still are an Instagram model. I, I can see why. No offense, but it's like, I mean, I can see why you're an Instagram model and not a real model. I mean, there's a world of difference. Okay. <sighs> Peace.